Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, we're going to get really, really, really creative with your photos. And ours, too. Plus, Khan Academy opens up to everybody's secret Siri commands and an app idea for kitties. All that and indie movies for the hipster in your life and everybody else, too, on iPad Today. iPad Today is brought to you by... Gazelle, the fast and simple way to sell your used gadgets. Find out what your used iPhone, iPad, or other Apple product is worth at gazelle.com. And by Blue Apron. Blue Apron will send you all the ingredients to cook fresh, delicious meals with simple step-by-step -step instructions, and they'll arrive right at your door. See what's on the menu this week. To get your first two meals free, go to blueapron.com slash twit. That's blueapron.com slash twit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to iPad Today. He's Leo Laporte and I'm Sarah Lane. Hi, everybody. How hey. are you? How's it been? Haven't seen you in a week. Haven't seen you in a week and I missed you. No, you didn't. I did. You're hanging out with the big folks. Have you have you had a meeting with Shingy yet? No, I have not met Shingy. Are you going to meet with Shingy next week? Leo's referring to the fact that I work at TechCrunch now and TechCrunch is an AOL property and Shingy is this like AOL figure that nobody really understands. I don't he's, really... He's their guru. He's he, Tim Armstrong's guru. He's a guru that has kind of crazy hair and says stuff and, and, and no one knows quite what to think about it. But I believe he's Shh. paid quite well. What? It's kind of... You're working for AOL now. I would what? downplay the shingy hate. No, no, no. TechCrunch makes fun of AOL. That's their thing. I know. That's right. They do. Yeah. How do they get away with that? Ah. How are you going to feel when you go into Tim Armstrong's office? There's Shingy saying, I was watching iPad the day the other day. You're, well, you know Actually, he watches. Hello, Shingy. Hi, I'd Shingy. love to meet you. Point him to MacBreak Weekly, because I was kind of making fun of Shingy, as many do, because he has wild hair. And Andy Anako stopped me cold. And? Said, that Shingy guy is a cool man, cool dude. Oh, he they said, know each other. They're no, I, I think he's just... He's hoping someday to have a hairstyle like that. He doesn't want, he wants to stop the hairstyle hate. Stop and the hair And somebody hate. like yeah. me should probably do that. Um, should we just do a quick check-in on, on your hair growth? It's starting to look nice and fuzzy like a little baby bird. <laughs> hey, and that's a good thing. At least I have hair. Well, because, you know, when, when you first buzz your hair off, it's kind of, it's oh. like, it's, you know, it's stubble, right? And now it looks oh. like it's getting nice and, you know, it's... It's soft. It, yeah, it's soft and it's lovely. Yeah. Pretty soon you can do little like vanilla ice stripes on the side. I was thinking maybe you could I maybe write Lisa in the carve back. Carve a logo a, in there. A heart, a twit yeah. logo even. Carve a logo in there. Now's the time you could dye just parts of it and do like a polka dot head. Jason <laughs> Snell posted a video on Twitter yesterday of him and me uh, doing a Mac tip on call for help. I in saw that. 1999. Well, you made a big deal about how the how the uh, the, the camera angle was horrible. I don't know that I even would have noticed oh, that. Oh, it was terrible. It's a camera angle we wouldn't even use. Well, cuz it was up really high. Um, do you maybe maybe Brian can look it up. It's um, it's, uh, it's Zach now. Who's that? Brian doesn't work on the show anymore. <laughs> they what happened change, to Brian? They grow up so fast. Brian only works <laughs> got a new job? on Mondays. Oh. We now shoot the show live on Saturdays. Who's that? Anyway, I'll find it. Just because giving up my Saturdays left and right for y'all. It's in my Twitter feed. But um, yeah, it was it was the good old days of, uh, of tech TV. Um, it was the very early days. And the funny thing uh, is Jason looks exactly the same. He really does. He hasn't changed at all. No. And you look... Well, I look a lot younger tip. and uh, with a lot more hair. Look at, look at his iPad, Zach. Preview feature in here from Macworld Magazine to take me through the steps. I mean, what? It's almost like watching Mr. the first Preview episode of Friends, isn't it? Thank you. My new <laughs> I now understand, you can turn that down a little bit. I now understand why uh, people thought my uh, hair was a rug. That does not look natural. Well, but that's just the way it's always it's, been. That was in the days of tech TV when we had hairspray. Oh, man. Remember look at, that? Uh, look at Internet Explorer. But this, what I don't like is this shot. You see how this monitor, this big monitor? Well... That was in the days before we had CRT, flat screens. CRTs, yeah. yeah. I mean, my first flat screen, I still remember how, like, I was 
I, I almost couldn't handle all the desk space that I had all of a sudden. It was very odd. Um, this is the worst set in the world, by the way. This Becky Worley is producing this. Right, I should and point then you, out. you guys have sort of like plants in the background, like, almost like balloons those on are, the left hand side. <laughs> yeah, they're practically they're balloons. Like, like, what is that? It is, <laughs> it is because you know this was the cheapest show on tech TV. By the way, this is a screener that they sent to Jason so that he could. I don't know why we've got time code on here, but um, yeah, look how know. old. Yeah. But okay, these were these were fake, and then there there was they had a plant on a rope. That, uh, like a branch that they would hang behind there and shine a light. Every once in a while, somebody would jiggle it, so you'd think that there was a window there uh, with a jiggly little uh, rope. Uh, there was one light, so this pretty much, this is it. This space, right? You can't move out of this space. This is another show. That is uh, that is a Carmen, uh, Carmine Gallo's uh, Money Machine show set. Okay. There's a set from another show just over Jason's shoulder for no reason. How, how then, far down the yellow brick nostalgia road are we going? All right, that's enough. <laughs> it's time for iPad today. Anyway, it was fun to see that. Well, it's kind of what I, happened. It does remind us that it wasn't it wasn't so long ago that the idea of tablets that were touch interfaces and and We've things come a long of that way, we haven't. really have. Have And that call for help. You said it was you know this it, is 15 years. You ago. said it was a low budget show, but I mean we were talking about stuff that was very it was you know that nobody done that right nobody it was, had done it was that. tech stuff that people were learning for the first time yeah. so just it's fun. just a good reminder that everything changes and you weren't working yet at tech tv in 1999 you were still no. at channel four in the San that's Francisco. right yeah k-r-o-n tv and then a year later we yep. hired you I that's right them coming to me best decision tech tv ever made and she's i very, saved the network she said they said she's very expensive do you think yeah. she'll be worth it? And I said, absolutely. He and didn't even know. I've been saying that the same exact. She's very expensive, but she's worth it. Oh, please. No, they, no I think that they thought you were expensive. Well, I don't know. I don't even know what to it say. It probably was $12,000. It was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, it was probably but barely above minimum wage, <laughs> but everybody was. else was minimum wage right. or something like exactly. that. Exactly. Hey, so today we thought, it actually kind of got some inspiration from one of... Um, Apple's little app packages that they put together in the App Store, which can sometimes be really helpful because we like to choose a theme yeah. on iPad today. Yeah. And sometimes we're sort of like, oh gosh, we've done all the themes. Let's get some inspiration. And 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 the folks over at the App Store get so many submissions that sometimes they see stuff that that you might not I kind of like it when they put hide. packages together. Yeah, like I do that, too. And you can browse through a whole bunch of apps that do. Exactly. And and some thing. of them we know, most of them we know and have talked about, but not always. So, you know, things can slip under the radar because there's like a million and 90 million apps in the App Store so or this something was the, crazy like that. I'm thinking this was the photo projects theme that they had. Exactly. Craft collages. Yeah. Send a slideshow. The, the, I mean, it, yeah, it's all over the place. But I thought that I would, I would focus on something called Fuzel Collage. Ooh, I had not heard of I it like before. The name. Yeah, um, and it, it'll just show up uh, when, when you, when you, once it, it's installed on your, uh, on your, I almost said computer, iPad as just collage. And the idea is that it's really sort of a hybrid between a photo, Ooh. some text. Um, some like uh, almost uh, almost like uh, you know a, 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 a art templates that you can put over a variety of photos to tell a story. Now, some of this stuff is not going to appeal to everybody. I mean, are you going to say something like "Friends become our chosen family" and have a little wreath around it, and it's like two hands and a heart, and post that on Instagram? You might, you might not. Uh, a user. Now, do you, you put, you provide your own background for that, or? Yeah, yeah. So. It does a lot of stuff. There, the idea is collages, but it's really kind of a layering uh, different kinds of media onto a, a, you know, a single collage. So this is something that I made earlier. This is just kind of funny. Uh, me and my friend and her baby, a friend of mine, another friend of mine gave me my very first can of pepper spray. I had never had any before, so I took a picture of it. Um, and then I was listening to uh, Sirius XM you Radio. You didn't pepper spray the baby, did you? No. It kind of looks like I wanted to, but I, I'm not <laughs> going to do that unless, unless she starts acting up. <laughs> she's been pretty good so far in the That's year or so that she's been alive. But this is something that I made very easily. Now, I know that you see a lot of these 
these collage type things on services like Facebook or Instagram. People like to share stuff like this, especially if it sort of tells a story altogether. Here was my day, or here's a, right. the, you know, Leo had a birthday, here are so the best photos from the party. I like that stuff, Yeah. That's fun. And I do notice that a lot of people use services, this um, um, Fuseo Collage is certainly not the only one, but people use services and sometimes they have like the watermark on there and I, don't, I just, it, it seems like a collage that, that doesn't have a watermark would be better. By the way, this is free. So let's just say that I wanted to start from scratch here. So it says, all right, well, let's some choose some pictures from your camera roll, right? So I go like, okay, that was kind of funny. Okay, there's more of Michi. I took a photo of some, uh, there's Sam in it. Oh, I wrapped him in a blanket. Okay, so, all right, I've picked one, two, three, four, five photos. And I just go, all right, well, let's get started, right? So what it will do is attempt oh. to put a template together nice. based on the photos that you chose. Yeah. And it's cool if you're sort of like, no, that actually should be bigger. You actually right away have a bunch of options that you can choose from. If you're like, nah, I don't like that one. Nah, I don't like that one. Okay, we're kind of getting there. Yeah, this one I like. This one I like. So then at that point you can say, yeah, I like, I like this collage. You can start moving things around. If I say, sorry, Tom, but I'm much more interested in Kate reading. Do that. We got Baby in here, San Francisco. And then, of course, there's Sam wrapped up like a little burrito. He's a black cat, <laughs> so he doesn't photograph well. Now you've got effects. So I've got a variety of effects that I can, that I can achieve here. You can choose to, yep, you can choose to add an effect just to a single photo or multiple photos. Kind of cool, actually. Uh, yeah, so I've kind of got like a uh, 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 old school type thing, and then Sam is sort of off on his own down below there. We're all pretty used to effects, so that's all fine. Now, if you're if you're into frames, I've never been much for frames. You can download a variety of frames. There are certain ones that are in-app purchases, but that's just an option. So let's get into the stickers now. And by the way, if you wanted to not have this collage of photos, you could have just. Uh, imported the one photo, right? But for the, you know, for, for variety, I'm just going hog wild here. So now I say, okay, well, let's download some stickers. Sure, let's get some Ooh, free stickers neat. here. And these okay. are all free. These are all free. And this kind of gets cute. Like, well, let, maybe, maybe let's say I was, you know, I'm going to New York next week, and let's say I was staying with a friend and I took a bunch of pictures and I wanted to, like, send a little something to the friend that was sort of like, hey, thanks for... Uh, hosting me and letting me sleep in your guest room or on your couch or something. That would be something that you could put together very easily. You can also add little labels. Uh, these are uh, in, in same idea, right? They're 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 kind of cute. You can uh, let's say uh, I like this one. All right, your text here. Then I say Sarah, thanks you. Okay, go ahead and say done. And then we'll put it right over Sam because we can read it nicely down there because it's nice and dark. Okay, there's more text. You can uh, fill certain areas with a variety of colors. You go ahead and say done. Then the app will say, well, all right, well, you know, you want to save to your device? Yeah, you could, say, you could share on Instagram and that sort of thing. Now, you, some people say, okay, it's been saved to my device. Here's a kind of annoying thing where uh, these are ads. After I have successfully saved my collage, I have to click through this ad for another app that I don't have on my device yet. But let's say you're like, well, you know, I love this idea, but I don't really, do you have fun? You, oh, no, no, no. You're not going to get me to rate Every the app. Every time. It drives no, me thanks. crazy. That was actually quite clever, wasn't it? Yeah. It tried to make me think it wasn't doing Sneaky. what I know it's doing. Let's say you're like, I just don't take a lot of photos on my iPad. Maybe you, know, you don't have photo stream set up, whatever. You can link your account to Instagram, which I have already. So when you're going ahead and pulling photos, you can pull from the camera roll um, or a variety of other albums. I haven't set up my Facebook or my Flickr accounts, but I did set up my Instagram earlier, so that's good too. Maybe that's where just all the photos that you really kind of want to work with live. So that's actually really helpful as well. So it's not it's not just taking advantage of putting together collages that that of photos that are local. It's from a variety of places where you might have a lot of photos. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a fun little app. I actually really enjoy it. I, I'm not. I think that people go collage crazy sometimes. There's a time. I like it though. There's a time and a place, right? Yeah. You but know, but it, you can you know get creative with this stuff. 
So you can do it digitally and save it to Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Mm. But wouldn't it be fun if you took the collage and it and you put it on a postcard and, and you put a stamp on it and you put it in the mailbox and it arrived on somebody's door. But wouldn't how would cool? you possibly do that? I mean, who can who knows how to print stuff this, like collages anymore? This I mean, is this come, is 2015. This is a callback to a, something we mentioned a few years ago. One of the original uh, Macintosh developers, Bill Atkinson, is a great photographer and has created a program I love called Postagram. Keepsakes made easy. You can mail a, a picture from your iPad to anywhere for 99 cents. And then what's really cool is the postcard has a little QR code and says by scanning the stamp, your friend can thank you and save the photo. So they scan it and they'll get it digitally, which is really nice because otherwise a postcard, you put it on the refrigerator, but you may not have it. You might want it uh, digitally. So uh, I'm not going to have it notify me about upcoming birthdays, but I could see how that would be cool. Let me add something. And by the way, not only can you add stuff from your camera, you know, take a picture, your photo album, you can actually get something from your Facebook or your Instagram. But had you done a collage like that, um, I you, like the way you say collage. How do you say it? Collage. Look, at they're all pictures of me. <laughs> Honey, there's nothing else in my life. But let's say <laughs> I decided to send this picture of me and my giraffe. Yeah. Uh, out as a postcard. That'd make a great postcard, wouldn't it? And I can add a message, you know. I can say, uh, I can even add a little picture here of me. Why don't I do that just real quickly? Turn this around and say, uh, here's a little picture of me, thinking of you. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. You look just like you did on Call for Help yeah. all those years ago. And I'll put that there. That's the stamp, right? And I'll say, thinking of you, exclamation mark. OK, now I'm going to continue. Um, I'd have to log in here, but I guess I'll just log yeah, in Yeah, log in with Facebook. Just, just. Just, every time, just right? Just give in. They get me every time. Just give this in. Is so much faster. See how easy yeah. that was? And now I can send it to anybody. Let's send it to, let's send it to Lisa, thinking of you. Beautiful. Continue. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm not going to, but uh, you start with some existing credits, and this is, okay, get it, complete my order. Now she's going to get a postcard in the mail. In the mail. Uh, Which is notify me when my order is being shipped and delivered. I, you could do that. I I don't now. I should tell you most of the time I would say yes, but on this one I don't want a lot of notifications coming by. No, we I do don't. The show. I don't really do notifications. And then you could even get a gift set. Okay, that's probably how they make a little bit extra money. But this is called Postagram, and I love this. I just sent a physical postcard that someone will get of in the me mail. and a giraffe that's going to come here to Lisa. Mm-hmm. In the mail. In the mail. In a mailbox of some kind. And then, and then I'll show you when it comes next in a couple of weeks. I'll show you how you scan it, well, and it'll be in the it'll be digitally in your thing because basically you've uploaded it to their servers. So. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, a lot of us have sort of written off mail as just like well, it's just, just junk and coupons. That's why and blah, it's kind of cool when it arrives. When I get a postcard and it doesn't happen as often as it used to from somebody who's you know out of town yeah. or whatever, I'm so happy because it does feel like you took the extra step yeah. in some way. So make that nice gif. Gift. With your thing, mm -hmm. and then put it in Postagram, and send it to somebody. Postagram, Postagram, <laughs> Post. I see what you did. Postagram, Postagram. <laughs> Good one. And send it to somebody you love. So, is it a giraffe? Uh, no, but it is a GIF. And it's if anybody gif, disagrees with me, you're wrong, and I don't want to hear it. But it's not a giraffe. It's a giraffe. 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 That's right. What I yeah. It, okay. It's like a gaff, but if an you animal. want to send a gift to somebody, sure, because you love them so much, mm. that's what I just did. I sent a poster dram with a gift. Choosy of moms me and choose a gift. Giraffe. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope that we cleared all that up. Sometimes. <laughs> what do you got? Leet speak can be so <laughs> difficile. What do you got? I got Comic Life Three. Oh. Now that. Interesting thing about this app is it's one of those apps that uh, Comic, Life, Comic Life 3 is called that because there was it's an original the Comic one. Life. There was Comic There's... Life on the Mac. This oh, yeah. goes way oh, back. It goes way back. Yeah. And it is actually its own app. It was $5, I believe. And it's something that uh, you, you know, you, you, it's, a, it's a new app, completely new app. So it's not just an upgraded app. However, it However. is robust as all heck, and you have all these really cool options to use your photos in, 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 in 
a comic type way. So I'm actually working on the Morning Herald. This is um, <laughs> this is a newspaper. Who's food fun in real life? Yeah. yeah. So this is actually a is photo cute. that I imported from my own camera roll, and then it went black and white. I could choose to add a little something here uh, that. Uh, that include, you know, it's just like a little thought bubble from somebody, right? Um, I can import uh, uh, words from a variety of places. In fact, it's kind of interesting if you, uh, I don't want to do that just yet. If you go back to my comics yeah. and you say, I just want a blank script here. Let's just, let's just start with a blank script. You can actually write out a comic in the vein, you know, like in, in the style that comics are actually written in, right? So I could say, like, Sarah Lynn's a true hero. She's what this town needs. She's a treacherous ball that? of steel. Go ahead and say caption. <laughs> you are a true hero. Thwack. Thwack. And then I say, okay, and then on the panel, Sarah runs fast. And then I say, okay, let's have some, some, some sound effects. Whoosh. So I'm, so I'm actually, this is a really terrible story, right? It doesn't really mean anything. But I hope this is going to turn into something good because right now, what? that's not great. You don't oh, like wait it? a minute. What's happening here? Well, so what you can do is then you can uh, oh. choose from a variety of templates and then you can import what you've written if you want to just jam for a while and write stuff down. You know what? That's kind of nice because a lot of these comic books, and I have another program like this called Halftone 2 that I love, mm -hmm. but you have to write in the weird comic book font. This is better. Right, 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 right. This is better. So you could just import that text that you wrote in a normal way. Exactly. Love it. I'm not exactly sure why I'm having a problem with this one, because here we are. Do you have to press a magic button? Well, I don't think so. This is the other thing, by the way. Halftone is like this, too, where it's the user interface is kind of odd. Well, oh, I see. Show script, script settings. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it, it gets quite granular, right? Yeah. This, is, this is actually like... I don't know if anyone's gonna read can it, but drag it's drag it over. What's that little thing? Can you that, that what can you drag? Yeah, whoa, uh, whoa. What in the heck? What the heck happened there? I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, this is confusing. You dragged something, but not that. Oh, oh I see. Ah. Oh. <laughs> clear great, huh? as mud. No, that's not actually clear at all. <laughs> Oh crap! I did this earlier. It's because I got all. Um, you got all fancy on us. Well, I tried to. I tried to. I. I don't know. I was trying to impress you. So you got and the. Now the you whole got thing the... is locked up. Right. Way to go. Thank you. <laughs> you Comic broke it. Life 3. You broke it. Gosh darn it! Undo. Yeah. Undo. No, it's back out. It's just. It's too much. Hello. You tried to do too much. I did. And uh -huh. now the, the computer Well, that's why I wasn't working. There's, there's, something, there's something up with the app. I'm going to have to restart it. Restart it. But, uh, okay, let's go ahead and restart. And, whoop, no, that's not right. Uh, Comic Life 3. There we are. Uh, what's nice about it is, yeah, see, okay. So, it, full disclosure, I'm not super interested in a lot of these templates. <laughs> But I kinda, a lot of them are kind of ugly. Let's yeah, face it. right. But I do like, you know, like I could see. So this is more creating, than a comic book. They've come a long way. This is now a lay, page layout. Exactly. Program. If you wanted to go, like, well, you can even uh, bring uh, images in from yeah. the web. But let's just say I wanna, I wanna use some stuff from my photo library, right? So I say, um, okay, so here's Michi again, and you know, like, she's such a cute little kid. She's my friend's kid. All right, all right, that looks pretty good there. Is that before we'll or say, after you hit her with the pepper spray? Um, that was before. Okay. After she was really upset. It was, it was strange, yeah. <laughs> and then I can, you know, say like... It's not like you hit her or wow. anything. The, the Baby Gazette. Oh. Present. You know what you, you know? need? And then, the, you know, you the, need, we've got a bunch of Latin in here. You need a picture of God coming down and touching her finger, her outreached finger. Well, so you can't really see it in this in this image because it, it makes it black and white, but there, there, there is a God's little chihuahua there. that she's actually or, or a playing with. God also or in today's paper. So you can actually think about this. If I put some time into this and I wrote some witty captions and then I saved this image and let's say it was like a, a party invite or maybe like a... I don't know, like a birth announcement or, you know, a variety of things like that. You know, girls Ooh. are unimpressed with baby, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> You've got a variety of fonts that you can use. And, cool. and yeah, you can change the colors and, and the and the size of stuff. You can change the life. I mean, it's 
it is, there, there's no way to actually do this justice in the few minutes that I am showing you this, but you have a lot of, of it's just fun. And especially people who like comics, because you really do have the tools. Um, I don't know if you have the talent, but you certainly have the tools to make something that looks like many of the comics that you already know and love. Like a lot of things... Um, it's a bummer that it crashed on me. I know. It seemed okay now, though. Like a lot of things on the iPad, it just reminds me of how little talent I have. Oh, yeah. it's All we do is highlight our... Uh, our, Weaknesses. Our, our deficiencies. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Weaknesses. So I am a big fan, and we mentioned this before, but I'm just going to mention it again because uh, there are a lot of photo retouching apps. Yes. Uh, there's an infinite number of them, it seems, on the uh, on the App Store. But there's one app to rule them all, and mm. I'm a big fan of it. It's called Aviary. These guys were a startup. They were web-based. Uh, you may have used the Aviary tools uh, I think Yahoo had it with their Flickr and Google's had it and stuff. So it's a wonderful app, which I've showed you before. Unfortunately, for a, uh, the first couple of months after it came out, the tools uh, were free. You knew now have to buy them, but they have so many, kind of an infinite number of, uh, of useful tools to modify uh, photos. Um, effects, which include, uh, you know, a lot of filters. I mean, a lot of filters. Um, I've used a few here, um, but but also uh, if I go back, I don't, can't remember, oh here we go, no 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 oh I forgot to sign in with my Adobe ID that's why I don't have all the effects. Um, if you if you uh, uh, want uh, frames, overlays are kind of like um, the same idea that we were talking about with the collages. In fact, they have quite a few grids. Unfortunately, they're not all free. Uh, but they're the, but you get a pretty good bunch of them. Stickers, which are wonderful. In fact, there's a there's the, you can do them like tattoos. Some of them, uh, I could do the uh, rock on, uh, born to be wild. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah, you um, are a wild yeah, wolf. Yeah, you could tell. Mm -hmm. You could tell, can't yeah. you? I took that photo of you. You look very regal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, an old. And you can uh, change your change your orientation. Change the light. Now it's also got all the, the really useful photo retouching tools. Even things like uh, blemish removal, so you can uh, remove uh, things that uh, you don't, you know, or, or dots in the or distracting, distracting, or like that. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, red eye fixes. It's got you can whiten people's teeth, which is great. Uh -huh. You can um, uh, color things, uh, vignette them. They've even got like an I can has. Kind of a thing. You like, love aviary. I can anybody has. who watches this show knows? I've shown it before. Yeah, but but it's, I just as long as we're talking about this, right. This is kind of something that you're going to want to have to go along with these other tools that we're talking about. Exactly. So you can modify this stuff Europe. ahead of time and then include it in your framed uh, things and so forth. I just really like this. Unfortunately, it was a great deal for a while. If you had an Adobe, actually, I think it might still work. If you have an Adobe account or create a free Adobe account, yeah, I guess it does still work. You can get all of the photo editing supplies free. Now, that limited time was January, I think December 31st, then it was January 31st. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I would suggest if you don't already have a, an Adobe account, creating one uh, and then downloading, because there are a ton of these effects, get them while you can. Get them in free while you can. Because they're just fabulous. I'm I think, a big fan. Yeah, I think that um, I I love Aviary as well. Um, yeah. and, and it's got it's got kind of yeah, it's, it's gone all, through. The a, point is, it's all many you need. Different. You don't need Snapseed anymore. Right. You don't need a lot of these photo yeah. retouching tools. It gives you everything you want. It, and it it also does a lot of the stuff that we're talking about. So it's like yeah, filters. Okay, yeah, we all I mean, we all understand how that works. How to clean up photos. You have other options, but Aviary now does it does that text overlay. I, I Show this, please, would you? I still, yeah, Zach, look at, uh, there you go. Um, I still think that, I'm I'm still trying to understand why there's so much text overlay that people need. There's crazy stuff in here. But yeah, look at, oh, I don't know, what's even going on there? <laughs> number two, he's number four. Yeah, I mean, I you know, it, it's just, I you've actually got all sorts of options. kind of, all you need is, all you need is Andy. All you need is Amour yeah. and Andy. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So some of the Love things that you showed... All. It's, and this is free, which is nice. I'm just going to do that, and uh, and there you go. And there you go. I guess I can't. There's not. Well, you can move modify. Andy around. I can move Andy, but I can't move True Love, and no. I think that's the way it should be. Yeah. Love is the closest thing 
we have to magic. I want to punch whoever is writing all this stuff. <laughs> I just, you know. That's because you're lonely and alone. Well, if no, you just had a, love, you'd uh, agree. I have a cold black heart. So I don't have any room for love. <laughs> it's just a fiery mess. Now, somebody's there. saying that Avery, Aviary also imports Canon RAW files, which is nice. It may, Does may, it? it may be very sophisticated in ways that I don't even know about. Hmm. But there you have it. Uh, I'm a big fan, uh, and I highly recommend taking a look at Aviary. I uh, agree. Aviary is just, it's just a good one to have. Even and, if, and even if you, even if you're like, oh, you guys and your photo apps, who cares? I, eh, I do want to. Once in a while, you're going to need one of these tools. I do want to also mention, uh, you mentioned comic book creator. Halftone mm -hmm. is another one to look at that is kind of amazing. Similar idea, you know, you, you, you've got the comic book stuff that you can apply to a photo. Oh, and, and, la and lay this. stuff And it's got all the photos. layouts and all of that stuff so that you can. You can, uh, you know, do all the comic book layouts. So this is an example of something that you could do with Halftone. So it's really, it's it's a really nice uh, tool. Halftone 2 just, I, we Half showed this before. I think it was an app, I think it was one of my app caps. But uh, yeah. just, it's a nice one. It's, uh, it sounds Love familiar. Yeah. So we talked about quite a few kind of fun little things. You could send somebody a physical postcard. I guarantee you that it'll put a smile on anybody's face. It's actually... That, that's I a, love that idea. Yeah, because it's just, it's unexpected. All this other stuff is like, yeah, iPads do everything, but hey, send in a postcard in the mail. That's pretty cool. You, yeah. you just send it right from your iPad. Obviously, we talked about uh, collages. Uh, we've got comic stuff. Leo loves aviary, halftone too. So lots of options. If you uh, want the direct links to any of these coming from the App Store, we will have those in our show notes at uh, twit.tv slash IPT. That's where not only our show notes live so that you can follow everything that we talk about, but all of our show archives and you watch any video that you might have uh, missed. Maybe over the holidays, you're a couple episodes behind. I know some of you are, you know, you, you write us every week and say, oh, I'm, I've really been out of shape about something you said in episode 220. And I'm like, that was... 13 episodes ago. What did I say? But hey, that's the beauty of On Demand, right? Quick reminder that Leo and I record the show live now on Saturdays, right after he finishes The Tech Guy, which is different. It used to be on Mondays. Although, uh, the week after this one, you're actually going to have a guest host. February 2nd, Megan Maroney Megan. will be sitting in your seat. Well, that is... That's, isn't that fun? Another blast yeah. from the past she, from she's uh, just, Tech she's, TV. She's edging me out of everything, isn't she? Nah. It's your fault you brought her in. Yeah, and uh, and she's now taking uh, over TN2, your old news show. Because mm -hmm. we, we've mentioned it before, but just, you know, Sarah has taken a great job at TechCrunch. It's going very well. Correct. But I'm really pleased that you are able to come back on Saturdays. You're, that means you're working six days a week. Yeah, well. I hope this is okay with you. But it's I, not for free. I appreciate What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, this is not, I'm not doing this for my health. Actually, I probably would. What else am no. I going to do today except drink rosé in the sun exactly. and relax with my feet up? Who watching, wants to do that? Watching the playoffs. That's boring. Totally. Yeah, I'd rather work. Um, I'm a career woman. Let's be honest. Let's I've always it. strived for excellence. Let's face it. Let's face it. No, I, I, I will... It's going to be hard. You can pry the show from my cold, dead hands. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you uh, if you do want to give us some wow. feedback, that's fu that was funny, right? That's funny. Kind of funny. Wow, I had yeah. no idea. Well, no, I I don't really feel. I mean, if from you if you cold, dead hands. Well, that I'll die eventually, and then it's not a problem. And then they'll we'll be, just take it. They'll be cold can and you, dead. Yeah, don't too much hold on like the rigor mortis right. makes it hard. I have to break your. But I'll be dead, know. so it's fine. Okay. It's totally fine. Doesn't bother me. I'll uh, send you a postogram. Thank you. To the afterlife. Afterlife. I, That's a little more expensive. It's a 99 cents I'll US. I'll use one of the messaging apps to let you know what heaven's address yeah. is. Afterlife, a little more pricey. Or maybe, I don't know if I'm going to heaven or not. I just, You're going to heaven. We Sure you are. Me. So uh, if you have uh, any feedback for us, I've had it at twit.tv is the email address to send it to. And thanks to everybody who writes us every week. We're going to get to a few of your emails a little bit later in the show. Any minute now, but yeah. first a word. From Gazelle, if you have old iPads, iPhones, uh, MacBooks, maybe you have a Surface Pro tablet lying around and you want some new stuff, got to go to Gazelle. If you get a, you know, got a new gadget for a, a gift, it's like the gift that gives twice. Not only do you get the new gadget, you can take the old gadget and get some cash for it at Gazelle. It's so easy to do, too. Just visit gazelle.com. You'll get a quote. Uh, that quote is good for 30 days. In fact, if you want to shop it around, do it by all means. But when you're ready to sell, Gazelle will send you a box prepaid postage on anything worth more than a buck. Uh, they will wipe any data you leave on there. Don't worry about that. And you'll get paid fast with a check, a PayPal credit, or 
Here's the pro tip. Get the Amazon gift card. They bump it up by 5%. If you buy a lot of stuff on Amazon, that's a good deal. Now, you may wonder, well, what happens to that iPhone 5 that I sold yeah. on Gazelle? Well, they take the best of the best, the cream of the crop phones, and they sell them on Gazelle.com. This is something brand new. Certified pre-owned gadgets at Gazelle. They have two different conditions. Certified like new, which means, well, it's like new, right? Maybe somebody bought something or got something as a gift and they sold it immediately, they never used it. And then there's certified good. These are lightly used, some general signs of wear, but you get an even better deal. And the nice thing about that is if you, maybe you lose your iPhone. If, if you go to Gazelle to buy the replacement, it'll be just like your old iPhone and, and it'll cost you not much money. It's really great. And every one of their devices has been put through a 30 point, rigorous 30 point inspection. So they're fully functional. When they come to you and you have a 30-day risk-free return policy. So I just think this is so great. Gazelle, for selling your old gadgets, for buying your new, slightly used, pre-owned gadgets, there's no better place to go. G-A-Z-E-L-L-E, gazelle.com. You're going to love it. Gonna you love are going to love it. Going to love it. I love it. I've gotten money for Gazelle over the years. I tell people. I'm get always money amazed. For Gazelle over the years. I told this story, but I'm always amazed. They, if they look at a gadget and say, no, 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 that's worth more than we thought it was, they'll actually give you more money than they right. quoted. They don't, they're not obligated to, but they're just good people and they will. Yeah. Exactly. They happen to us. We sent them a 4S. They said, oh, no. We said this was $30. This is worth $120. They sent us more money, like 60 bucks more. That's I think amazing. $90 they upgraded it to. Thank you, Gazelle. Thank you, Gazelle. Hey, so uh, Khan Academy, uh, this is uh, a, a, it's a bit, sort of an online learning service. Is that how you yeah. would categorize yeah. Khan Academy? Yeah, yeah. it's by uh, that guy, R Ricardo Montalban. Right. Khan! Ah. No, Salman Khan, who is an amazing educator, who decided, I think he just decided, uh, I've been trying to get him on triangulation, I'd love to. Oh, yeah. He just decided, be a good one. you know what, I think that edu people could, you students could use a hand up. Originally high school students, originally math, it has expanded now. You can learn almost anything on Khan Academy. It's a, I think, Nobel Prize winner. Uh, well, then you're going to love this news. What's the news? Well, Khan Academy has had an iPad app for some time. We've talked about it on the show in the past. Yeah. But, but it's it, just, an, it, we, in fact, I showed it the other day. It's an interface to the website. Right. Now, every Khan Academy course is available on the iPad. So in, in the past, it was some of them. Oh. And now it's all oh. of them. 150,000 courses. Training exercises wow. in many different disciplines that for a really lot of neat. different. What's kind of cool is that if you look at the iPad app, you they they do a good job of organizing courses in a variety. Like you've got math courses for different grades. You know, right. do you do you have a seventh grader? Okay, right. well let's let's go in and see what kind of uh, math exercises we can get to that are appropriate for that age group. Neat. And you know, it has to do what you might be learning in school. Or science. Well, what kind of science? Are you chemistry? Are you more interested in health and medicine, physics? Every parent should know about this because oh, yeah. the kid, by ninth grade, the, you, you, you're not going to know algebra two. When the I, kid comes to you and yeah. goes, how do you integrate a quadratic equation? And you go, Khan uh, Academy. Yeah, just, yeah, to, to look just it up on Just go to Khan there. Academy. Test prep. Back in my day, Leo, when you had to take the SATs, you had to like buy a book and like study for a while. I can't believe how and then this you had is to, great. Yeah, I mean, it's like if I would have had something like this, I probably would have taken it a little bit more seriously because you've just got all of this and stuff this is, at your fingertips. This is all free, right? Yeah, this is all free. It's amazing. So, like, do you want to practice some SAT math level one? Yeah, okay. And then, and then you you get a very good sense of the types of questions that you're going to be asked. Of course, the SAT is, um, you know, it, it's a college entrance uh, test, and you got the GMAT, you've got you know art history, and then and then it kind of gets crazy. They've got a variety of partners. So, do you want to see some uh, stuff from the Tate Museum? Five hundred wow. years of British art. Okay. There's a Tate Museum. Yeah. Does let's... it have Scotch tape and? Like double-sided tape. Oh, Tate. Tate. Of Museum of Modern Art yeah, in London, England. Oh, that tape. Do you want to go look at the Romanticism and Victorian Era Room? I would like a Scotch Tape Museum, though. Oh, gosh, really? I think that's just, cool. I don't know. And then they invented... So you've got, it's, it's, it's like, there are courses. It's a, it's a wealth of knowledge. You've got, I get I mean, the, it's, it's so well-organized. Applying to college. Paying for college. Oh my. Ooh, Wrapping up. That's where things get really scary, guys. Real life is it's tough out here. 
uh, higher <laughs> education math, interviews uh, with 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 people, luminaries, uh, Khan this Academy. Is so awesome. Yeah, I mean it's 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 very well done, and and if you've ever looked at the app in the past and was like, yeah, this is pretty great, it's nice that they offer at least a a large collection of everything that they offer on Khan Academy on the iPad app. It's now 100%. 100% of their their uh, material is available right here. You know what's nice? Um, they actually, and it works really well on the iPad, they have exercises the kid can do, like practice stuff. So that it's not just watching videos, it's interactive too, mm -hmm. which is just great. I'm, I'm looking forward to learning seventh grade math. I need it. I loved math back then. It was so much fun. Yeah. It wasn't hard yet. I mean, yeah. not, it was hard for some people, but no, like I was. At some point, it just. It, sort of junior high and high school math was like, it was just fun. Like, let's talk about trig more. I loved that. Yeah. I really did. Trig? You loved trig? Well, because I started out as a math major Sign, in cosine, college because I thought I was so good arc, at it. Tangent. I was like, I'm freaking good. I am cute. good at math. I'm going to be a mathematician. And my parents were like, <laughs> yeah. And then. And here I am. Actual math. <laughs> and then here, math hit and you. And here I am. I blossomed into something very different. I think there was something wrong with you if you thought trig was cool. That's weird. You know why? I, I've, I've had this conversation with other people. It's like when when you get math, yeah, it's a then you, you feel like you're on some sort yeah. of like intelligence plane because so many people have a hard time with yeah. it. And so you're like, oh, I've got a gift. You know, it's like being like a really good I think athlete. That's gift. Gift. I'm sorry. I I've spoke got out a of turn. Gift. I, you feel like you have a, a very precious gift. No, I agree with you because, uh, and this is like learning an instrument or anything, and it's so hard to, te to teach kids that you're going to be terrible mm -hmm. at a language, at an instrument, at math until you get it, and then it will flip, and you'll and you'll go, oh, and then you, you will actually love it. Yeah. But that that's it's a lot so of fun. painful it's going a, through that. Right. I don't get it. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. That maybe sometimes a lot of people give up. And math is a really good example. It's very hard, but once you clicks, yeah, it's amazing. And and yeah, we've all got our. Uh, there's lots of things I'm not good at, uh, including math, because I haven't really thought about it in yeah. a, a couple decades. Hey, so what do you think about this rumor? Um, it came from Ming Chi Kuo, who works at KGI Securities, that he thinks that because of numerous patents, patents related yeah. to styli, 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 yeah. styli yeah. multiple stylist Styla patents, uh -huh. that he's saying, you know, he's an analyst, that he thinks that Apple is going to launch a stylus possibly in the second quarter of this yeah. year that could possibly go with an iPad Pro. A big iPad. So, and he's got a pretty good track record. So mm -hmm. the 12-inch iPad, you and I have talked a lot about this iPad Pro. Yeah. It makes sense. I mean, people buy third-party styluses for uh, iPads all the time. In fact, you see that one there that was sold by uh, 50. Um, but so that's a big and booming market. 53. 53. Yeah. Added three. <laughs> I subtracted three. Yeah. Um, I'm 58. So, Are you? Yeah, that's why. Well. Um, I'd like to subtract about 40 of those. But uh, I think that that makes sense, that Apple must be looking at the use of styli. But there's one thing that doesn't work so well on the iPad. M all the styluses for the iPad simulate pressure. Yeah. Um, by maybe how much of the tip is on, they can see, that kind of thing. Because the iPad, while it's 10-point touch, is not pressure sensitive. There are tablets out there that, are, that use the Wacom digitizers that are. And I think that if they did that to an iPad, that would be a huge product with a stylus, pressure sensitivity, and you draw on it. I think artists, designers, classrooms. engineers, classrooms, yeah. it would be a revolution. So I hope they do this. I don't know yeah. about 12.9 inches. I don't care. I mean, even a regular iPad Air 2. The iPad Air 3 should be touch sensitive with pressure so that you can detect different levels of uh, pressure from the stylus, and they should have an Apple stylus. And I think that is brilliant. We'll see if Apple does it. And see how many people who aren't sort of, you know, working in the creative field or, you know, it, it, it's I just sort of it. like, like casual consumer stuff. Yeah, then you could do Would handwriting. You? Well, then you could do hand. So my Galaxy oh, Note, okay, that's my true. Galaxy Note 4 is pressure sensitive because it has a Wacom uh, digitizer on it. Uh, it comes with a stylus, and it's very useful for handwriting notes. It's just too small. It's only six inches. Mm -hmm. It's too small. I can't write enough. An iPad. Wow, I could write volumes. So, how much money do you think Apple CEO Tim Cook made last year? Just if you had to like give it a 
just a ballpark. For now, you. are we going to include his stock options? Because that's going to no, put it through the we're roof. We're talking about base salary, base salary. And, and, and bonus compensation. I don't think his base salary was that high. I'm going to say his base salary was $85,523.42. I'm going to say he got, he got bonuses because he met goals and got another $450. Uh, Tim Cook received compensation valued at $9.22 million last year, which is more than double his he, pay in he 2013. Got, he got $9 million was his salary? Correct, but you know who got more? Angela Arendt. She, she got was, more than the CEO? She was hired last year. She's running retail. She came from Burberry Group. She was CEO there. She received a compensation package worth $73.4 million. No, that, no. Does, that does include $70 million worth of stock, but oh, Apple no. stock is pretty hot. Apple stock is one of those stock packages that you actually really, really want. Yeah, I don't know. No. I just thought maybe we'd like to think about people that are much wealthier than, 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 than we today. Just, no! Yes. I say... Well, she was a CEO at Burberry. They, had, him, they had to offer they, her something. They had to lure her She's only a senior vice president world. now. I mean, she's nothing. She's nothing. She's nothing. She's, she's a rich, nothing, good for nothing, she's got great plenty person. Of, how do you get a job to pay $73 million? You know, I'd year? love to know that. How do you get that? I am job? the last person who we, knows Where do we go wrong? Works. What do we do wrong? I feel like we have to start money laundering or something. We could do that. From yeah. now on, Twit is a cash-only operation. Just everything is going through a car wash or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just clean it and up. And then I'll have pallets of money in the basement. Right? I don't even really know what I'm talking Like, I don't even know how to launch money. I know. Money. It's, no, it sounds no. like putting money in a I washing would, machine. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I it is. I know what to do with it. What does that mean? It's dirty money and you make it clean, but how do you do that? I don't know. So a lot of people uh, working at the executive level at Apple are extremely wealthy. Jeez. And I How hope much does Johnny Ive make? Does, it, does that say? Uh, that's a good question. I'd be very curious. Would he? I would think he'd be worth more than Tim Cook. Tim's worth a lot, though. But how could they pay Angela like eight times more than they pay Tim? That doesn't I don't seem know. right. Well, I guess because Tim was already there. So when he... Oh, somebody said... Scooter X is saying... That was part of the deal. To get her to leave Burberry, she left behind stock at Burberry. So Apple had to make good so on the like stock match options it. that she gave up at Burberry. Mm. So that makes a lot of sense. So this is a one-shot thing. Eddie Next Q year, she'll make a, a buck fifty. Eddie Q had a package worth about $24 million last year. No! Tim Cook is like, what's happening, what's man? What's wrong in the world? Tim, Tim you're, Cook, you're the you're CEO. You're basically on the streets. Isn't the CEO supposed he to be the highest paid guy there? He's one step from homelessness. Highest paid guy there. I, you would think. But I don't think it works that way, because he was already there. And he, Tim's like, whatever, man. You know how Tim is. Whatever. Get, it's, I always thought, his, it's always his attitude. Whatever. whatever. He was says, roll it. tide, and it's I'm... Fine. Oh yeah. no, he's. I'm sorry. War Eagle. He doesn't say Roll Tide. He says oh, I don't War know. Eagle. I know. It's it's it, Auburn. Is that who Roll Tide is? And if you go to Auburn, you like. And if you don't. Uh, no, he went to Auburn. War Eagle. Oh. Roll Tide is Bama. Oh, Alabama. I don't, I don't know. It's it's that's a far away state. I've never been to. I'd like to go at some point. Hey, so this actually came uh, came down the wire today. Renee Ritchie, our friend Renee Ritchie, who's one of your co-hosts on Mac Break Weekly every week and writes for iMore. He's not making $73 million too, is he? Well, I don't know anything about no! that. I, I hope so, Renee. You're worth every penny. But no, he actually posted uh, uh, something on iMore today that are Siri commands that you might not know about. Oh. And our very own Jeff Needles actually forwarded this article to Let's me. Let's try them. Yeah, because it was published today, and I, I hadn't even seen it. So thanks, Jeff. So, okay, uh, secret Siri commands by way of iMore. Let me make sure that I open up my uh, article on okay. this end. Okay, so number one, I'm going to ask Siri life. Ready? Just life? Stop, Siri. Oh. Life. Huh. Wait a minute, you have a British Siri. Why Let me try it on my Siri. Why is mine so low? Life. 42. I have a man Siri. Well, that's because you put it, but, but, but there are a lot of different lives, okay? Life. That's easy. It's a philosophical question concerning the purpose and significance of life or existence oh. in general. So there are this a is, lot of those. This is the question, what is the meaning of life, but she only hears the last word. What is the meaning of life? 
I can't answer that. Get it? Huh. <laughs> he, he made a joke. Spo mine, mine said that too. Mine said that too. Ha <laughs> ha. Did he go ha ha? Ha. What is the meaning of Kant? Oh! <laughs> Rooster, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. It's that is a real Here's thing. Here's what I found on the web for what is the meaning of cock. <laughs> Say that. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Together. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm getting really warm. Oh. I'm getting warm. Oh. I'm gonna get sweaty. Okay. Mm. Uh, how about this one? <clears throat> call me Ishmael. You would like me to call you Ishmael? Yes. Okay, Ishmael. Great. I think <laughs> that wasn't a trick. No. That's what it's supposed to do. You could say, call me Big Brother. From now on, I'll call you Big Brother. Okay? See, that's not a trick. Well, it's a, it's not a trick. It's not, they're not, these aren't tricks. I don't understand. Trick. From now on, I'll call you Big Brother. Okay? Yes. Okay. So, but I knew about that one. We've said that we've shown you Okay, that Big Brother. What's next? No, go away. That's what's How next. about this one? <clears throat> Do not disturb. Okay, I turned on do not disturb. So, there's a little hand I got a better way to situation. do that. Watch this one. Good night, Siri. Good night. Aw, <laughs> oh, Siri was tired. Good morning, Siri. Good morning. It's 6.01 p.m. <laughs> Siri thinks I slept all day. What? What time zone is Siri in? What's that about? It is 6.01 p.m. Oh, gosh. <laughs> We've been here a long time. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I have to go to dinner. No, I'm just kidding. How about this one? Okay, how about this what one? What do you call a male rooster? Let's see. Here's what I found on the web for what do you call a male rooster. Oh, yeah. Now you get all okay. shy on me. Now Siri's like, whatever. How about this one? E-T-A. We don't appear to be navigating anywhere right now. Oh, if you how about directions? Just say get directions to wherever. So if you were, how about this one? Right. E.T. Phone home. Okay, I found this on the web. No e. fun. Home. You should say ouch. How about this one? Okay, now this one is a good one. Ready? You know how when you're, uh, you, you know, when you're when you're at a restaurant, and you're like math is hard. I just don't know. You're like, what's the tip? Mm. That sort of thing. Okay. So let's say that uh, the bill came to one hundred forty dollars, right? Yeah. What's the tip on one hundred forty dollars? Looking. Okay. Check it out. Nice. nice. Amount without tip one forty. Tip percentage eighteen nice. percent. Amount of tip twenty five yeah. twenty. Can, can you say something like? What is a 25% tip on $18? And we just say... Let me check on that. No, yeah. see All that. right. Here's yeah, what I got. It's Wolfram Alpha. So it's Wolfram Alpha. Yeah, so that's... that's it's, nice. it's crunching numbers. So you can tell it ahead and of time. The, and the list goes on. This is actually... It's a great article from iMore. You know, some of this is... It's kind of like the duh tips that we talk about yeah. here uh, on the show and, and that I do on i5 as well. I love those. Yeah, so it's, it's just, it's, it's, they're, it, not, they're not like secrets. You need to know, and some of them we've mentioned before, but you need to know, uh, it's good for you to practice getting used to talking to Siri and getting the yep, responses. Exactly. It becomes more useful the more you know. The navigation okay. one, I had never, I'm not navigating anything right now, so when I said ETA, she was like, well, where do you want to go? Right. But, but that, That's I, nice. didn't, I didn't know that existed. That's nice. So while you're navigating, it would say you'll be there in three hours. Oh, yeah. Like, That's I've nice. got to, when we're done here, i got to drive for a while, and then i got to go to dinner, and it's like, if there's traffic, what I time, don't know. What time is that reservation? Uh, just, I don't know. It doesn't matter. hurry up. Yeah. Don't, don't. How about this one? Don't come to my dinner, please. Let's Siri, how do I make bison and pinto bean chili with crispy tortillas? Checking my sources. He doesn't know. I, I gotta know. get a female suit. Here's what I found on the web for how do I make bison and pinto bean chili with crispy tortillas. I got a better way. Well, do you? Yeah, Blue Apron. 
Oh. Ooh. Interesting what you did there. Siri, show me Blue Apron. Blue Apron is Here's such what I found on the web great, for Blue Apron. A great website for anybody who loves to cook but is too busy to shop or maybe doesn't want to take the time to plan uh, you know a, a menu plan. Blue Apron is great. Cooking and eating are the centerpiece of life, aren't mm -hmm. they? You, we say it, you break bread with somebody. There's something magic about that. Mm -hmm. But if you're busy or if you're health conscious or maybe you just don't know your way around a, cook, cook, a kitchen, cooking could be intimidating. It, it could be a chore. So that's why we love Blue Apron. It makes cooking fresh, delicious meals easy. You're going to look like a pro. And, you know, it's great for a date night. It's great for a family. They have Blue Apron plans for couples and for families. All the ingredients come from local farms, so they're absolutely fresh in season ingredients that's nice too you're eating seasonal dishes at blue apron and now the price is right 9.99 per person per meal much less than eating out but these are restaurant these are high you know gourmet restaurant quality meals mm -hmm. these are amazing you see those cards there so it comes in that blue apron box refrigerated all the ingredients i mean even the salt and pepper everything comes in that box and then they get they have recipe cards and coded stock that you're going to want to keep. They're really they've got pictures, they've got descriptions. They teach you how to cook things like roasted cauliflower steaks or butternut squash and kale minestrone, bison and pinto bean chili with crispy tortillas, avocado and cotilla cheese, or white pizza with Meyer lemon and arugula and Brussels sprout salad. I mean, this stuff is amazing, and it's so good. And you will look like a master chef. But you see everything you need. If it's three cloves of garlic, there's three cloves of garlic. Right. Always fresh. The meats are fresh. The fish is fresh. You'll cook incredible meals. You'll be blown away by the quality, by the freshness. Blue Apron is fast, fresh, super affordable. You are going to cook like a gourmet, but it's easy. It really is. You do it all the time. Yeah. In fact, when I have Blue Apron deliveries, and, and it, they really are quite lovely. I mean, I, I feel like a master chef. And the thing is, is... Cooking is very much like simple math in many ways. You know, you got your prep and you you, know, you just kind of have to have all that stuff together. But making it taste good is just a matter of following a recipe. And Blue Apron, they really walk you through it. I've never been like, huh, this is really Now look, see those vague. eggs? They're, they're, they're brown farm eggs. Oh, they're yeah. not, you know, I mean, this is like good quality stuff. Here. I had run out of Blue Blue Apron meals uh, recently. And I oh, had, no. uh, somebody was over at my house and I was like, oh man, I'm just like really hungry. And I had some chips and salsa. And he looks at me and he's like, seriously? Because the thing is, is it's not that I don't like cooking. Going well, to the grocery time to store. Shop. I just, I just, I don't know. Don't have time. I, I, I always forget. I forget to go, and then it just, it seems, that's my, that's my problem. That's my barrier to entry is getting all of the ingredients back to I my house. I want to make this white pizza. That looks phenomenal. Doesn't dude. it? Oh my gosh, I'm so. So here's the deal. You can find out exactly at no cost. You're going to get two meals free by going to blueapron.com/twit. Blueapron.com/twit. Delivery is fast, free. And you're going to love it. Blueapron.com slash twit. Try it today. We're big fans. You know who loves it, too, is Denise Howell. Oh, yeah. And she's she's got right. a family, but she is like yeah, she was a actnatic actually, for it. She, yeah, she was like taking photos of the finished products and stuff. Yeah, it's she's, so great. It's it's interesting how, too, how it can work for a lot of people. I, I'm a... I'm just one person. My cats don't get any of my blue apron meals. It's different meals. for you, and it's good for you because now you have extra. Yeah, I. Uh, you it's know, great for it, a single. It, I mean, it's wonderful. A, a, an entire meal, depending on you know how big your appetite is. Mine is pretty big. I mean, it's still lasting me all through the oh, next yeah. day. And then I don't have to. You don't have to cook every day it's, necessarily. It's hard if you're single and you're cooking for yourself. It's hard because you're cooking for one. And it's like it's. it's I like, tend to not you, get that creative no, because you end I up feel like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Because why I mean, put the effort? Well, into chips it? and salsa, right? Right. It's, I mean, that's that's fine, but it's like it's a little I depressing. Love. It's a lot more fun to put together something. It makes your house smell good. Oh, I love now, that. Now, somebody's saying, well, what happens if you're not home? No, they'll work with your schedule. So you always say when you're home, it's the the boxes have uh, refri they're refrigerated, they're ice. And by the way, nothing's frozen. At least not, no, I've never got anything frozen, no. right? Even the meat and the, f the fish are fresh, but they're refrigerated in these very nice boxes, which are completely recyclable. Mm -hmm. I I, it's really a clever way to do it. There's no styrofoam in them. It's, uh, I don't know how they do it. It's there amazing. have been times where a Blue Apron box is sitting at my desk here at Twit. Oh, they'll for, keep for a few days. Yeah, for yeah. quite some time. And then when I get home and open up, it's, everything's totally oh, cold. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, absolutely. It's, but if you're going to be gone, well if you're going to, like this week, you're going to be gone, 
You just go to the website or you email them or you call say, them and you pause. say, I'm going to be gone, pause, yeah. and it's yeah. no problem. Just pause, pause. Hey, so we got an email from Sonia. Remember last week when we were talking about Be My Eyes, which was that really neat Love service it. where Love you can, it. you know, help somebody who is blind or, or, or uh, vision impaired? And Sonia said, because you had mentioned, you know, that we, we, we've got all these accessibility apps, but some of them are so expensive yes. and it seems... Somehow unfair. Yeah. Sonia said, my comment about that, what really irritates me is when a great app is developed, it sells like hotcakes, and then the dev might abandon it after yeah. a few months, and there's just no guarantee that they That's won't. True. Then after a few OS updates, the app might not even work anymore. That's so very common. You set out to find an app that gives the same great features, maybe more. You shell out more money and hope that that developer won't abandon mm -hmm. that one too. It's true. They've actually... I can't, it hasn't happened to me lately where I was really really sad about it, any particular app, but there have been a few that I've really liked. Mm -hmm. And you can see in the developer notes when it was up, update was last pushed out. And you see, like, you know, if it's been more than six months to a year, it's like, eh, but I do what's have going to tell on you, there? That happens even with these assistive apps, even maybe more often. Yeah. You'll see programs that are just not updated since XP. Right. And if you're relying on it as your lifeline to the world, that's very, that got to be very frustrating. You know what I saw? Uh, well, anyway, what did she say? Is that what she said? I mean, that, yeah, that was yeah. that was just her feedback. I saw the uh, the theory of everything, the new movie about Stephen Hawking, mm -hmm. and that is an amazing movie, by the way, highly recommended. I know it's nominated for an Academy Award as Best Picture. Eddie Redmayne, the actor, who goes through a transformation, you wouldn't believe. I mean, he becomes, he is Stephen Hawking. Wow. From the from his college days, before he gets ALS, to to the modern times when he's really he can't even speak. He becomes that character. But what it really reminds you of is how important assistive technology mm -hmm. was for Stephen Hawking. Here's a man with whose mind is untouched, is the, one of the greatest physicists of our time, but whose entire body is non-functioning. And assistive technology has made it possible. He can twitch a cheek muscle. That's it. With that twitching cheek muscle to write a book, to, con to, to, to converse, to, to have access to the world, it's remarkable, and they, you, they show in this movie, because it starts in the 60s, how technology is very primitive at first. Mm -hmm. The first speech synthesizer he had was a, was a uh, answering machine, digitized answering machine that somebody rejiggered, and, and it's very primitive. And so it, uh, I, you, it moves you when you realize the iPad and what's happening here can be such a boon to, to con reconnect with the world for people who have various disabilities. It's really exciting. We got an email from Tracy, who lives in Fort Collins, Colorado. Hello, Tracy. Hello. We actually we talked a little bit last week about apps that are good for younger kids. Mm -hmm. And Tracy said, oh, in response to that to that show, uh, one of our favorites for our son, who's six years old, is Tiny Thief. Love it's, Tiny it's Thief. It's interactive and makes him think while he enjoys fun activities and yes. puzzles to solve. We got it through Apple's 12 Days of Christmas promotion yeah. uh, last year and still play it frequently. I had not had Tiny Thief on. Do you have it? Uh, well, now I do, of course. Let's see it. Let's go ahead and skip the tutorials because, you know, <laughs> I'm a little this bit older This is from uh, Rovio. This is the same people who do Angry Birds. That's right, yes. So go ahead and, okay, we're in the candy store. Let's do it. Yeah, this is, it's not hard. So you've got, you've got your little man well, here. Well, it's for little kids. It's yeah. not for you. Well, I know, but, you know, <laughs> you just don't ever overestimate my knowledge. <laughs> so, okay. How do you play? Well, See, <laughs> so a kid would have no trouble with this. Well, I'm actually, weirdly, okay, here we go. So this guy, oh, that's not very nice. So the, there are free levels, and then you'll pay a couple of bucks for additional levels. So, well, I clearly, huh. Oh my gosh, I was put, I was trying to be all cool and I don't. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Here we go. Here yeah, we go. Yeah. Well, you just don't have the mind of a child. Well, it, no, it's, it's we're gonna get here. Here's my little guy. Yeah. Oh, my little guy wants to go upstairs. That's fine. Sure he does. All right. Let's go ahead and. This is very walk similar. Down the, this is very similar to uh, Angry Birds, but you have to solve. It's much more of a puzzle though than like a physics game. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, and what's nice about it is that because I am just a complete moron. Um, you do have hints. Yeah, if a kid is like, I'm frustrated, it will walk you through this for, to some extent for the first time. Let's go ahead and pick up a little gift that I have here. Okay, all right, we'll go down this way. Let's 
Anyway, I, you know, you don't want to watch me play this this game that's designed for six-year-olds. But if you have a six-year-old, I don't know if it's fair to say this is designed feet. for six-year-olds. I mean, I, pl I play it. I love it. It's okay. <laughs> you it's just a like... lot like Angry Birds. It has that same sensibility. It's fun, and you tap and you solve problems by putting things together. You know, it's like is uh, is the successor to Angry Birds, Angry Pigs, or what is it called, the Piggy Wiggy? Pig. The it's like that, where the pigs what? have to solve this physics. Bad piggies. Bad piggies. Yeah. So it's kind of more like that than Angry Birds. You're not shooting birds at things. Uh, love it. Good mm -hmm. choice. And I didn't think of it for a kid, but obviously a great choice for kids. Tiny Thief. Oh, good. Look, I got something. You yeah, it's it's ch children's games. You know, I'm obviously it's not a children's. I think it's an adult game. No, but but what what Tracy was saying is it, it, it could be. It's great be. for kids though. Six year old yeah. loves it. Has been playing it for over a year. So there you go. Uh, we love hearing from you. Please do send us emails, voicemails, videos, all that stuff. I've had a day at Twitter.tv. Yes, is our email address, we'll our voicemail it. address, our voicemail number is seven five seven five zero four iPad I P A D. And, uh, you know, if you send us a video, upload it somewhere, send us the link, email us the link, tweet us the link. I don't know. Do whatever you got to do. We'll find you. It'll What's be great. What's our Twitter handle? We don't, well, you know, Leo Laporte or Sarah Lane. Oh, just like we, to us. We don't actually have a show Twitter oh, handle. Oh, Tavarish. In Twitter, we tweet you. <laughs> you look good in that. Thank you. Does, that, does she not look like she, you what? know what? You look like a Russian beauty on the steps. This know. is gorgeous. I don't you. really have Russian looks, but uh, thank you. It would be f kind of funny if I wore this to the Italian restaurant later and just like... Take it. I want some garlic If bread. I wore it, they'd say Sinatra's back. Totally. And he's going to the beach. <laughs> and he's going to the beach. Sinatra's country. back and the weather is good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm flying down to Rio. Yeah. Oh, I wish I was doing that. You've been to Rio? I have. Of course you have. You've I went to everywhere. Carnival. <gasps> Oh, fun. Yeah. La, 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 la. I don't know. So we're wearing funny hats to indicate, as you probably know if you've ever seen the show before, uh, AppCap time. AppCap Awards! This is the part of the show where Leo and I put on hats. We call them app caps, and we choose an app of the week. We each get one that we think is pretty cool that you should know yeah. about. And, you know, you, you probably don't. We try to get pretty creative Hope with these. Hope not. Now, this app is kind of... Well, all right. So, how much do you like independent movies? Love them. So do I. I and I know Love some, some people go, eh, independent movies. What is that all about? All that means is it's not made by a big studio. Exactly. There's not a lot of Eddie, Eddie Murphy's not in it. There, Stuff's not blowing right. up. Some of, some of the most classic movies, my favorite movies, started out as sort of, you know, independent Indies. movies without big stars. And the yeah. reason that I'm actually highlighting this app, which is called Fandor, have you heard of it before? It is that the land where the the children and the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe go to Fandor? Yes, I believe I it's believe the same so. place. That's no, where I've all the indie movies are shown yeah. in their first run. <laughs> what is Fandor? Fandor, it, it, it's 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 an app that is a portal to. See, I wasn't wrong. Do you have to go through a wardrobe? <laughs> Not exactly. It's a wardrobe called the App Store. Sure, but these are a variety of indie movies that might be new. Okay. Days of Grey it was a drama that Never was released in 2013. Don't know it. But then you've got The Flowers of St. Francis, which was 1950. So it's a wide variety of oh, wow. independent movies, some of them foreign, some of them, again, you know, the, the, you know Marjo from 1972, Mr. X, that's 2014. That one looks scary. I'm not going to watch that. Avant-Garde, 1999. So what this is, is it's, 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 it's not free. What you can do for free is watch all of the trailers of these movies, which I actually sometimes I think is helpful because then I might go on I mean, to Hulu Plus and see if anything's part of like Criterion Collection or something Got like it. that. Yeah. What I've done here is. But these are available somehow. Well, you you buy a subscription. On iTunes? Oh, you buy a subscription to Fandor. That's right. So it's nine ninety nine are... per month. Ooh. If you were going to, if you're going to watch more than a couple movies, it's a great deal. So it's like Netflix for indie movies. Yeah, so there's, here's a girl, uh, 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 a movie that probably is about teenage pregnancy or some kind of pregnancy, right? You go ahead and play the trailer. I think you're just overweight. 
Right, or they're just really overweight right. in one specific area, which is very common with women, you know? That's why you don't want to ask them, because they might that, just be fat. What's that called? 17 Girls. It's called 17 Girls. It was directed uh, by Delphine Coulon. It's 90 minutes, so that's okay. Uh, this is a, about a... Oh, you know what? I know. I've heard of this movie. Yeah, it's a French movie. 17 Girls from a high school in, in uh, Brittany yeah. become pregnant at the same time. They, yeah, I've actually, I've actually seen a trailer for this movie. I've never seen the movie. Now I could watch the trailer and be like, eh, I don't know, is that is that is that is that, this is this worth my time? And then you know, babies were made, whatever. If I want to watch it, I go ahead and watch it. You can airplay it, yeah, using Apple TV. That's what I would so do. So basically, if I was at home. for ten bucks a month, how big is the library? It's is it really huge? big. Oh yeah, I mean, well, it's, you'd it, really have to uh, like independent. So some of these are document. No, they're not documentaries. They're some of them are. Some of them aren't. Okay. Life and Times of Allen Ginsberg. That's a documentary. Yeah. Um, we're we're now in sort of a uh, well, documentary I'd have to really, section. I'd have to really think about whether I wanted to spend ten bucks. On, but the, so can you? Is it like a free trial or anything? Well, the the trailers are free. So I'd like to browse. So download the app for free, browse through it, and see if yeah. there's stuff here you'd want. And 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 one thing, absolutely to you know to always remember is when you end up buying a subscription like this, you know, ten bucks, you can say, oh, okay, cool. Well, you know, that's going to auto renew. And if you have a lot of iTunes subscriptions, yeah. you just want to make sure that you you know you you know that you are in control of this, and you can turn off your subscription at any time. And I do have to say. Apple makes it very easy. They do. If you go into iTunes, you can see a list of your mm -hmm. subscriptions, and there's no, are you sure? You really want to do this? We're going to miss you. You just click cancel, and that's it. Yeah, so, on uh, or to, off. To Apple's credit, they do make it very easy to cancel these things. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's just worth noting, if you're like, huh, I wonder how many subscriptions I might have. I don't know, maybe you don't look at your credit card statement that closely. If you look on subscriptions, I have a variety of subscriptions, weirdly, that have expired because, like, the, the app no longer is... You know, insert like the daily expired, right. spin yeah. play expired. I have a lot of those too. Music, you know, or, or yeah. your card changed or whatever. But this is a place to manage your subscriptions. Oh, that's right on the iPad. Yeah, yeah, it's in iTunes itself. Oh, you just that's log nice. in. That's and nice. And you can you can just make sure that you know it, it's like if you have an active subscription, you know, to to the New York Times, let's say, are, are you using it? And then you can make sure that you're you're spending the money in the right places. Or in my case, Leo's money. I'm fair. I'm what? I'm very interested in this uh, Fandor. It's good. Yeah. I was I was I was happy with it. It's it's got a you know. It's I'd have a to see nice layout. If it's movies I'd want to see, but you know, you know there's there's a movie with uh, what's his name that I always like him, uh, Giamatti, Paul Giamatti. Oh yeah. So the you know that's the thing. Some of the oh this is a uh, that was the one you were talking about the, uh, the classic. Um, there yeah there. When you wore a tulip and I wore a big red rose, who could forget? I the, that moving sure right moving moment. All yeah. right. It's neat. I downloaded it. I'm going to try it. I don't know if I'll subscribe, but I'm going to look at it. It's, See, I love Patty Smith. I yeah, yeah. That. I mean, I'm not going to tell you this is $10 a month that you've got to spend because it's so just based on what kind of movies you like. If you like blockbusters, this is not your collection. Right. But I'll tell you, there have been so many times where I'm just like, I don't know what I want to watch. And you end up watching this something that... Maybe seemed like it might be an interesting documentary. I don't know. And then you're like, that was so good. I'm so glad I watched. I'm just I learned something. Or Here's I, a comedy from. You know, I, I, now I've got a new favorite actress that no one's ever heard of, and I'm all like. They got indie. silent movies from 1921. Crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's all over the place. So that's called Fandor. Um, the app is completely free. Of course, there is a subscription uh, that is, you know, you're going to have to deal with if you right. want to uh, to watch these movies. But I think this is uh, very it's interesting. Pretty cool. Yeah. And you can pick from genres. So. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in... I think it's genres. 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 Uh, you can pick the genre that you're... Yeah. Like, here's classics. Mm -hmm. I'm very tempted. Kind of fun, right? Yeah, because, you know, you've gone through... We've all gone through Netflix over and over and seen the same things over and over. Yeah. It's be kind of man-bait. Who doesn't want to watch man-bait? Man-bait. 1952. Bait. You know oh. what they were baiting Diana men with. Doors. Oh, same thing yeah. they're doing now. Oh. So there you go. Well, you got to create the account, man. So, um... I have... So you asked me how I liked independent movies. How do you like fractals? I like fractals a lot, actually. I find them geometric, which means math. There is math in fractals. The idea of fractals, of course, is uh, is a beautiful drawings created by a mathematical symbols or mathematical equations. 
this was created by a guy named Kai Krauss, made for Kai Power Tools and Kai's Goo. He was a, a great graphical guy in the early days of the Macintosh. Frax HD, F-R-A-X HD, and these are fractals you can zoom in on, you can zoom out on. There's uh, controls so you could change the motion, you could change the colors, you can change, you could change the lighting, uh, and you could create fractals of your own, and then after you've done that, change the textures, you can save them in the fractal gallery, uh, even on the cloud, uh, with other fractal Frax users. These are, I mean, it's kind of trippy. Yeah. Okay, kind of trippy. Kind of trippy. Um, but and there's not much you can do with it, and yet, I don't know, if you just stare at this long enough. Then you enter I a new dimension. you may know the secrets of life. If you were, I don't know, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Isn't it? Whoa. 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 We're in the fractal Trippy. black hole of some kind. Ooh. Whoa. So it's just, I mean, I remember these sort of, pro whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you're, whoa. Okay, all right. Frax. <laughs> I remember uh, these sorts of programs. You screensavers. Oh. Remember, like, everyone on a Windows machine had the fractal screensaver for a while or some yeah. version of one. Yeah. So you set your motion, you set your colors, yeah. you add some lights, I'm texture. I'm just doing the random ones here. Yeah. And then I uh, I, it's, you zoom it's a little, around. It's and, a little weird. Yeah. It's fun. It's wild, isn't it? And then it's you weird zoom and wild. It. It's fractals. funky. And, you know, it shows the compu computational power of the iPad because this is a hard thing to actually do mm -hmm. computationally. Yeah. So very impressive. F R A X. Now it's not free. It's three ninety nine. Okay. No in app purchases or anything. It's just trippy, man. It's just so just trippy, dude. Look at some, and there's some very odd ones as well, too. I mean, it doesn't have to be. It could be. It's just. It's. Jeez, Louise. It's cool though because there. I understand that you know the frac fractal kind of always has a certain look. Yeah. But. But there are so many different There's very many looks. Varieties. The idea of a fractal, of course, is that at any size, it has the same patterns repeating over and over I love and that. over again. Frax I HD, love that. Three ninety nine. You know... Somebody out there, uh, we're, we're sort of like, do you like fractals? Here you go. I guarantee you, somebody out there is like, oh my god, this is the best app ever, and they're going to email us about it. And then we're going to be happy, they? and everybody's a they hero. I and we're all on the same team. Look at this. Stop the violence. Try this location with other styles. Use style shuffle and tr Ooh, this is wild. Look at this. It's. It is the dawning of the age, age of, of Aquarius. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Whoa. It's interesting. It's also better to have this on your iPad than like a poster on your wall. Take it from me, college dorm people. What? You had fractals on your posters on your wall? It, that was a thing. That was you definitely look a thing. So you look like a <laughs> a Russian girl. I don't. But yeah, you thank do. You. I, 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 thank don't, you. Doesn't she? No. She could be in Saint Petersburg. Mm. Love that. I'm sorry. Dollar ninety nine. It's cheaper than I said. Not three. Oh, good. Dollar ninety nine. That's that makes a two dollars. Four dollars for fractals. I don't know. Eight. Two dollars seems legit. Hey, so that uh, does it for this edition of iPad Today. It's been a fun one. Um, and Leo, thank you for uh, recording the show with me on Saturdays. I know that your time is very precious. And There's I just, nothing I'd rather do really than sit here with you oh. on iPad today. No, seriously, I love doing this. Thank you. I do, too. I do, too. It's not working for a living, wearing funny hats, making stupid jokes. This is the bee's knees. It's dad joke heaven. Here. It is, yeah. And, you know, if anyone was like, finally, Twit got rid of Sarah Lane, he, they didn't. So, ha ha, joke's on you. <laughs> I but take, uh, next I gotta week, I got to take a picture of you in this hat. Okay. I'm sorry, you too. <laughs> Please do. It's too good. What's next week? Next week, uh, Leo and guest host Megan Maroney, who is the new host of Tech News Tonight, and yeah. will also be taking over for me on i5 for yeah. the iPhone. Um, they're gonna uh, do the show in my absence because whatever. I can, and I gotta mention, I can have a guest host every now and then and not kill them. It's I gotta fine. mention that Megan has kids. Yes. Uh, she's got uh, Three a, of them. a sixth grader and a couple of fourth graders, I think. Yeah. So I think we might do apps for grade school. I think that's a great kids. idea because I don't know what to say about that. I know that you guys give me good. Neither of us do. Should I, like, not smile because Russian people are sort of not know. a happy bunch? Or 
Not, no offense, no, but sometimes I just, you guys are. I just think you, this is such a good look for you. And you know, all I have on my iPad is pictures of you, so. Yeah. I just want no, to I add know. to that collection. We all know. It's great. <laughs> It's not weird. Okay, everybody. Uh, see, you, I'll see you in two weeks. Enjoy, Leo and Megan. Let us know. Yeah, let us know. If it, let us know. In the in the in the meantime, if you've got uh, some like grade school apps that uh, would be. I good think for this would be fun. Yeah. 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 Um, Get the expert on. She used to do Jumping Monkeys. Remember this on the, I do. the network where she talked about kids and technologies. She's perfect. Well, she's she's the perfect woman. I mean, it's. I'm sorry. She's already married. Honestly. All right, that does it for iPad Today. Thanks, everybody, for watching and listening. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.